Hello everybody, welcome back to part, what, six, uh, no, seven, of, uh, <clears throat> last stop, and in the sixth video we'll be doing, uh, chapter three, Paper Dolls, Imposter Syndrome, so we're still going down the same route of, uh, Paper Dolls, and then the investigation, and then the school girl, it just works that way, I don't know why they've done it that way, it's kind of annoying. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. <laughs> There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped breaks? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. That's right. We have to cover each other for our jobs, but our jobs are more difficult than each other's. It's like... You don't know what job is what, you know what I mean? Like, what to do. It's not like it's retail here, you know? It's a very specific skill. One of them's making games. One of them works for council, I believe. So you might be able to blag through one in theory, but even then. Nobody else knows, it's just us. It's not like Shaz knows either. So she could help us for it, which is... It is what it is. Alright, Imposter Syndrome, Chapter 3. John's flat. What's the plan? So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. Right. And if I am, she'd automatically think I'm an imposter. You don't know Amy. Jack loves Amy. I do not. <laughs> Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30am, run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. <laughs> 7.55, put head in microwave. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. Okay, now he's messing around. Right, have I got to go there? Oh, I do. I've got to go meet her at the park. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Hmm. Okay. So I just go up to her and say, All right, love. Pardon? All right, love. Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. <laughs> I'll pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She could talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. <laughs> fucking boring, you're right, yeah. Distracted with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. Uh, holidays. So It'll be the safest bet for us to go down. What was the deal with that piss up the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle aged blokes? <laughs> piss <-head. laughs> Just having a rough day, that's all. What do you think you're <laughs> So, are we going for this run or what? Uh. He's a thinking man's man, you know. He's got a lot about him. Got a lot to offer. <laughs> run with Amy. Keep up if you can. Oh shit. I can actively run. <laughs> I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. I guess I can be a bit of a pillock, right? Ignorant, you could say. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. Get skeletons. <laughs> Not being a good role model. 
Enough with the chit chat. You give me a stitch. <laughs> Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. A massive geek? Not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. All right, Jack. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? <laughs> Why? Do I sound different? More personable, maybe? Call you tomorrow? No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Uh, we were related. I did say something about we were related. You may be surprised to learn. Turns out, you and me are related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. Lot to Shaz. Who said we was our cousin, weren't we? Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious cousin. All right, cuz. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Who <laughs> dickhead? Hiya, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think I think John must have told me that. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as your cousin? Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to get all soppy, but John, I don't know where I'd be without you. It's quite all right, Jack. I'm glad you've turned into such an athletic, creative, fiercely... <laughs> Compliment each other. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Hmm. We'll see. We don't know how long this is going to last. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Cow's potato. Nothing interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I just here and there. It was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know. Peacekeeping. You dick. Noble stuff. Not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high tech startup you see selling solar powered submarines to the super rich. Jesus. In a bit, John. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow paced for you while you slum it with us. He's a dick. Well, I'm going to head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what yes, is it is. do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up. And Gross. Sing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but still. It's Awesome. Ugh. <coughs> uh. Well, you don't look like an artist. Yeah, well, not anymore. I don't, do I? <laughs> but that's my job. I'm a video game developer. That's so cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free to play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. Empathy games. Empathy games what? Say something about the human condition. Cutting edge stuff. Such bollocks. <laughs> Human condition? Yeah. Okay. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. The colourable one, the maze one. I remember playing this <laughs> one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. 
<laughs> Jack's office. This is where we have to sneak by, right? So where do you work? Superfab. It's not far from your office, actually. Right. And people pay you to do this? Yeah. Some people say game makers are the new rock stars. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Last computer game I played was Solitaire. I'm going to be out with depth. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. <laughs> dippy. You on that dippy on the phone? You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Seems older than that, but whatever. Like 12. <laughs> Sneak past Sonia. This is ridiculous. Hello, stranger. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Just walk past that. You look well rested. Uh, she's on to me. Avoid small talk. Be nice. Just be nice. Thanks. You do too. Thanks. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! <laughs> Derek's in a good mood. Who's Derek? Oh, he's the boss. Jack. You sure you're not still feeling ill? He's my boss? Yeah. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Oh yeah, we know what lads on tour. <laughs> oh yeah, um, it was fun. Turned into a bit of a piss up with the lads though, to be honest. While trekking in Nepal? Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. Oh, I see. So basically, whatever you say, they counteract it. That sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their task for the week. That's no good with stuff like that. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, he's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple. Trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Meyer is midway through implementing rumble support. Jesus Christ. And this is a computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Meyer Rumble. See? You're a natural. I'm going to get that all wrong. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay. Um, let's see. So, I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah? Uh, I have no idea. Cream cakes? You are modelling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Uh, You're doing something with AI? No, no, IA. For retirement homes. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Uh, one at funeral procession? I don't know. No, rumbling. Are you rumbling? Actually, I'm not sure that's right. I don't know. <laughs> and finally, Maya. Oh, shit, I got that wrong. Oh, AI. Are you Fuck. But the, well, the AI option the weren't AI. there before. One of them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure that's quite right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to, even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? 
some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave you with <coughs> to me on my 18th birthday. <laughs> Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. <laughs> Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, yo. Jesus Christ. I'm John. Hello. What? Oh, hello. How are you? Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, what? My program is in? I'm sorry. I don't understand you. Speak English. Don't like her tone. Do you speak English? I'm sorry. I don't understand you. Hello child, welcome to my tea shop. I am Miss Clapton, uh, the cream tea guru. Would you like to purchase one of my freshly baked cakes? Okay, today's specials are salted mint, what? Ugh. Okay, oh fuck, I can read that. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot! Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Okay. Shit. Boss wants a word. Wait. You go? Yeah, we go. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> That's grin and agree. <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really <laughs> outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. <clears throat> hmm. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. It'll be shit show. I need you to do guys... Okay. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Weekends? Oh. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but I can't give up that time right now. Overtime? <laughs> You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. <laughs> You've lost the plot, mate. Why would I do all that extra work for free? Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. <laughs> passion. All right, so this is crunch time. This is in the video game industry, and they're trying to get rid of this. Um, I said this previously, um, and that's what he's expecting the team to do, crunch time, overwork, uh, over the next couple of weeks to get the game over the line before the publisher comes in and says, oh, it should be done, they've got a certain deadline they've got to work to, so, yeah, they're trying to get rid of this <coughs> in the industry, but it's an in industry problem, so, yeah, he's pissed off. Passion! I'll show you what you can do with your passion! <laughs> hey, Dad. Oh, hey, John. Right, we've lost our job, no doubt. 
Jack's <laughs> got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. <laughs> what? No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I had to get a little bit. A little bit fired. Between you and me, I think that Clive fellow overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> it's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. Uh-oh. Everything okay? Something go wrong? We're screwed. I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. <laughs> oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, <laughs> that's it. I'm going to demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. Oh, shit. Both have lost their jobs, man. Yeah, Clive is a prick anyway. <clears throat> uh, is that the end of a fucking chapter? That sucks. I wonder. See, I enjoy this story so much more than the others. It's kind of annoying. Ah oh, man, so the next video will be Domestic Affairs and Mina Hughes, Domestic Affairs, Chapter 3, Secrets and Lies. Man, what a pain in the ass. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know how long this video's went on for, whatever, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, I don't know. Um, and then after that, we've got the, after this one actually, let me just check. Stranger Danger, okay, friend or foe, alright. So anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one, thanks so much for watching.